Jesus, did you hear the news? With your host, Sonny Dunphy. Good evening, everybody. This is Sonny Dunphy here. Now, in an effort to stop the decline of English visitors to the Aran Islands, Board Faulty have come up with a plan. They're changing the national iconic phrase, Brits out, to Brits in. Uh, Leo Varadkar says he's very happy to have orange men parade through Dublin. If Donald Trump lookalikes want to march through Dublin with fake tan all over their faces, who am I to stop them, he says. And Waterford's Indian community celebrates independence after the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Jesus, lads, ye gave Custer some bait. And now just late news in, Good news for bathers, as the Environmental Protection Agency has given all Irish beaches a clean bill of health. A spokesman said the water is so clear you can see all the plastic at the bottom of the ocean by. And now get ready for Jesus Did You Hear The News Sport with Brad Ironside. Jesus Did You Hear The News Sport with me. Brad Ironside. Soccer news. Eight-time Scottish football champion Celtic are out of the Champions League after losing to Romanian Minnows 3-4. Aftershock defeat. Celtic fans should remember that the third round qualifiers aren't really the Champions League anyway. GAA. After Mayo lose again to Dublin, Mayo boss tries to hide behind the Foxford curse. Local parish priest says that the curse isn't that powerful. If it was, I wouldn't be stuck in Mayo. Boxing news. Andy Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua rematch is to take place in Saudi Arabia, a country with Amnesty International says has an awful human rights record. Andy Ruiz said, That gringo's not going to get no amnesty from me. He's going to get a left and a right. Anthony Joshua, on his behalf, has lost his bodybuilder physique. He's growing a beer belly. My God, Anthony, it's not the belly. It's the glass jaw you have to worry about. And now, for entertainment news, Mascara O'Hara. Oh, well, girls, how's it going? Mascara here. Now, I have great stories for you tonight. Now, an ad for milk and chocolate has called for a prepubescent girl with angelic skin who does not have red hair. But who did it think eats their cheap chocolate anyway, girl? Only spotty, overweight gingers. <laughs> anyway, home wrecker Miley Cyrus. She split from her husband and she snogged a woman. Yeah. She said she was just preparing for her new film. Miley Cyrus spreads a virus. <laughs> and finally, crazy Gwyneth Paltrow has advertised a new bottled water that promotes wellness at three pounds a pop. Hey, Gwyneth girl, you can pass your water off on someone else, let me tell you, love. I won't be getting a sniff of it, that's for sure. And now, stay tuned for Tommy Rainbow who's going to tell you all about the weather or something or other, like, you know. Jesus, did you hear the news? Environmental, with me, Tommy Rainbow. UN scientists say that we have 12 years left to change, climate change. Plenty of time, so. Here's six easy ways to become an eco-warrior, just like me. Number one, go carbon neutral. No more flying. Take a boat. Two, no more beef. Become a vegetarian. Like me, I only ate sausages. Three, put no junk mail stickers on your letterboxes. Number four, get out of the shower when you start enjoying it. You're wasting water. Walk, bike, or go on a bus. Save money, get healthy. But watch out for those weirdos on the bus. And if you say, hey Tommy, I've never seen a weirdo on the bus. You're the weirdo. Pull out at night. I mean the sockets like. 
but not on my PlayStation 4, because I'm in a hard bit at the moment, and if you pluck it out, I'll lose the thing on it. Okay. Now, and remember, the three R's. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's all for me, Tommy Rainbow, Eco Warrior. <laughs>